What's up, traders? This is Matt with Conservative Trades. Happy Friday to everybody out there. Um, getting ready to get into a, a nice little weekend here right after a green day, ending the week. Um, today up $119.49. Well, on the day, I should say. So had three green days this week and two red days. And um, you know, the, the green days were big enough to, I think, pull off a little bit of green on the week, but really nothing to brag about here, guys. Uh, this was a, a, a struggling week for me, as, as many of you already know who, who follow the channel. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it was, um, you know, it was, it was a steady week. It, it got frustrating on, on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday was a really small loss, though. I, I think I was only down like 19 bucks on yesterday's recap. So, um, you know, th th this is fine. This is fine. We're doing, we're doing all right. And, um, probably up, I don't know, 70 bucks after fees and commissions here. So I'll take it. I'll take it into the weekend and just look forward to seeing what the market offers us on Monday. For right now, I will go over a couple of these trades for you real quick. So as you can see here on Boeing, now you'll notice here, I'm only up $5.95. And um, really what had happened is I got in here, I think, let's see, let me let me see, where, where was it? Yep, got in with 100 shares at 135.15, right up here, okay, 135.15, I shorted 100 shares. And, you know, real quickly bought back uh those shares here at 13506 and 13504 the, the thing is guys is Boeing is whippy Boeing constantly constantly whips back and on you and you you have to be really careful it's just been been doing this a lot lately so i was nervous and i went ahead and got out you know on 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 those but of course you know once it uh let's see where where was it right here once it finally broke down through 134 and mind you 134 was a key level that uh, we had been watching uh, right over here right here you can see it says well it says 134.52 on this candle but I was looking for a good clean break of this candle here and so when it broke again you can see here on the order book uh, 133.88 is where I got in I accidentally got in way to I, I was trying to hit the hit the bid at, when it was at 134 but it had already flushed down to 133 so I got a late fill and got uh, you know a little nervous with it so I had to buy my way back out of that and I did, and then um, it started to, on, on 25 shares, it actually started to resolve to the downside, okay? And I, you know, so I pretty much took profit all the way down here and up here. So really, you know, honestly, the move was not more than, I mean, I might have made like, I might have cleared like 20, 30 bucks on it after that, maybe, maybe 30, 40 bucks on it. But um, here there was some chop, and I was looking for the breakdown right here, uh, and it just continued to chop around. Again, Boeing has just, it's just made me nervous. And maybe this can be part of the lesson for the day today, guys. I mean, really, should we be trading on stocks that have made us this nervous? Because if you think about it, up here, when I first went in 100 shares short, I could have held on to that. I could have dealt with the whippy action and held on to it uh, to see to see this move through, to, to at least get to the test of 134, and then maybe take off the first 50 shares down there. And then I could have taken off maybe another 25 shares down here, and then let this play out, let the rest of my shares play out. This, this easily should have been a, you know, 150 to $200 move on 100 shares with, with scaling out gradually. And... It's not. Why? Is, is, it, is it not that way because Bowen didn't work out? No, we can see that Bowen worked out. But it's that way because I was nervous. I was extremely nervous on these moves here. And so, you know, I, I, I'm almost kind of getting to, this, to the point to where I think if, if I've traded a stock enough times here lately that has just really been fidgety and really been a whippy stock, and, I, and if it's a stock that I've got chopped out on a lot, I'm probably just going to start sitting on my hands and really not trading those stocks. At least, you know, Boeing can be good for scalping opportunities um, because you can see, I mean, you know, even in this action right here, you know, you get pretty clean pullbacks and it's, it's usually pretty forgiving. You know, you can jump in 50 shares here, 100 shares, shares there and get a quick 30 40 cent move you know make a good 20 30 40 bucks whatever just depending on how many shares you take um so i may continue to trade boeing as a scout but looking at you know looking at, at boeing to make long moves like this um i don't know guys because it just it hasn't been doing it much lately and it's it, it's it's been a chop fest it's been a chop fest for me so but basically you know we we paid for the trades on boeing today and we're well, we probably didn't quite fully pay for the trades, but um, anyway, PSTI was my Achilles 
heel today. This was the stock. This talk about chop. I mean, it went down, it went up, it went down, it went up, it went down, it went up. And right here is when I got in, right here at the opening bell, when it started making its way down, um, and I saw, I had this line set, and I set this in pre-market. You can go back on the live stream and, and see. I had set this line in pre-market. And when it started getting through this line, I thought to myself, you know, this stock here on the daily is way overextended. If we can break that 12.10 level, I'll bet we can get a move down. Um, maybe not even quite all the way down to $11, but really, I had just borrowed 400 shares for shorting on this. I had borrowed 400 shares for shorting and I was planning on seeing at least a move down to, you know, these levels right here, maybe down to, uh, you know, 11.65, even maybe 11.30s. And so um, in my mind, you know, it, it justified borrowing the shares. It, it cost me at the time about $11, I think, to to borrow those shorts. Of course, the price has gone up through the day here. Now now it, it's, it's 18 bucks to borrow 400 shares on PSTI, but at the time it was only $11 to borrow 400 shares. And so, you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, if I can get at least a good 40, 50, maybe 60 cent move off of this, it'll totally be worth it. But what happened, it, it, I noticed immediately uh, watching the level two that it just wasn't pushing through. It just wasn't pushing through. And so it looked like this thing was about to snap back. So I got out a little of my shares and then I got out a little bit more. And as it started to snap back up, I got out the rest. And I'm glad that I did because look at how far up this moved. I mean, this moved really far up against me and um, I would have been underwater big time. But then it got an immediate rejection. And here's the thing. I had noticed that after this run up in pre-market, it was never able to get right back up to this point. And so, and, and even here, you can see, look at this candle right here, this huge wick that was formed. Um, it tried to get a buy up. It got a breakout from here, tried to form and got slammed back down. So after this came all the way up here and then sold off all the way back down here, you know, I thought to myself, I thought, okay, this is the third time that it has failed to break out highs. This has got to sell off today, but it just didn't. And I got in here for a short and we started to get a little bit of a move, but then it moved against me and I just had to get out guys. And so um, this has just been a big chop fest today. And so this is kind of the same, this is kind of doing to me what LVS did to me yesterday. Um, just a chop fest guys, just a, just a chop fest. But INTC worked out a little bit better for me. This is one that I called for a long. So I was really looking forward to going long on this. My only problem was, is I was in PSTI at the time. So I didn't get in at the break of 5638 where I wanted to. I I think I had actually set an alert for the break of 5638 um, or I might, might have even set it for the break of 5660. I can't remember, but all I know is by the time I got in here, it was breaking through VWAP and I bought and it was a little whippy. It was a little whippy, I admit, but I bought and I sold and I bought some more and sold up here and then sold a little on a pullback and then bought and sold. And uh, back here, I got a nice little short, short scalp in and uh, got out the rest break even, but um, basically up $70 on INTC. So really good move on INTC. And, you know, it had it had sold off majorly or gap down, whatever you want to say here, but it was holding this level. And I had said another alert because if it did break this level, I might have been interested in going short on it, but it never broke this level. And so my other alert uh, went off up here. And like I said, I was dealing with PSTI and I just got in on it a little late. Um, but I did get in on it nonetheless and made a nice little bit of a profit off of it. B B uh, ugh, excuse me, BYND is the last one that I'm going to go through with you guys. Um, it was breaking to new highs and it was kind of teetering around this 113 level here. So when it came up to test again, as a matter of fact, I'll pull it out here on a one minute chart and I'll make this a little bit bigger. You can see here... Um, you can see here, um, it was kind of knocking on the window, knocking on the window several times, pulled back, came up again, pulled back, but then this candle opened up and this looked like a bear flag. And so I got in for the breakout and sold real, real quick here for the pop. And I'm glad I did because then it started dumping. And you know what? I had moved on to look at another stock, but I wish I had seen this because I completely would have gotten short on BYND here. Um, but I didn't. But I did get in once it bounced off of VWAP and pulled back here and was having a hard time making uh, uh, continuing the push up to make a new high. Um, and I saw it slam back down here. As soon as it popped up here, I got short. And um, that was a really nice move right there. Really, really enjoyed that move. And then, of course, here I got short for a VWAP break and um, got a really nice move down through there and then took off some profit here and took off the rest of the profit here. So um, I feel really good about trading overall today guys um, some really good moves on some of these stocks of course it's starting to slow down a little bit here but um, we are getting into the afternoon and I don't know maybe we'll find something else th during power hour but I'm pretty much done for the day so um, I, I think I'm I think I'm just going to end on a green note here 
And I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. If you're new, consider subscribing and consider joining us in the live stream. We stream live right here on the channel, Monday through Friday, beginning around 9 a.m. And to those of you who are continuously participating in the live stream, as always, I do appreciate you guys. I appreciate the little community that we're building, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. Take care.